Hey guys, how you doing? This is a real quick video. I found all these. I was watching a video from oh Sigrid, and she was uh, doing a video from um, or doing doing her version of a video that she had watched from Eileen. And when I was watching her uh, Sigrid's video, I had noticed in the sidebar all these uh, toilet paper things came up. So I posted them in the group, uh, the same kind of thing where um, Eileen puts the toilet paper in the mold. Um, that's been around, I, I didn't know, but like for a long time, which I probably figured because all these crafts we do are, are, have been around forever. Um, I know things that I do, I'm sure you could research and find a million other ones on. And they also had stamping in toilet paper which is what I have here and Anne Marie Collins did hers and I'm gonna try something because Zoila had asked if you could use clear stamps so I did not grab of course I didn't I did not grab my block my acrylic block so I'm just gonna kind of put it on here but I wet the toilet paper I'm going to squirt it a little bit more. Now, you also can take this right here. And I'm going to try it on uh, paper towels too, but um, right now I'm just going to do it on here. They say that you can take your embossing folders and put this in your embossing folder now and then run it through your Sizzix and you get a really, really tight, uh, nice embossed, you know, once it's dry and that I'm so excited about. Um, they also did the same thing where they stuck the... Um, uh, toilet paper in the molds. They tore them up, stuck them in the molds, and made, uh, you know, pieces. They're much lighter than if um, you used Amazing Mold Putty or something to that effect and use clay. Um, so that also, and some people vary. Some people use glue in their uh, water mixture when they're doing that. I don't believe that Eileen nor um, Sigrid used glue. Um, some people, some of the videos I watched uh, prior uh, didn't use glue and some did. So I don't know. I've not done that yet. So I don't know. But I do want to try this. Then there was another one. This is the one where you could stick your stamps in. And then there was the other one where you could put it through your uh, Big Shot or, you know, that kind of thing. Not the ones that are electric because the water obviously is going to squeeze out. So I'm going to try this for Zoila. And I'm going to stick it in and give it a push down because obviously I forgot my, I would forget my head today if I, but I was surprised because like I said, yeah, you get a nice imprint there. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave that dry. So yeah, clear stamp and it has a very, now once this dries, I can cut out around it. Or maybe even take, I don't have any, maybe I can just kind of push it everywhere. So when it dries, it's a full embossed piece. Oh, how exciting. And like I said, Anne Marie uh, Collins did this on her video, which I will link below. And like I said, I've not done the um, torn toilet paper one yet because if I had room on my desk and I wasn't in the middle of 20 million different things, I would try it and I will at some point. I probably won't add glue because everybody who does it seems to um, get really good luck without the glue. But I have a, a big shot, so I'm very, I'm very uh, excited to try to see what this is like. Now I see that came up. This is just adding. I'm so excited. Okay. That's very exciting. So this I did for Zoila just to show on the clear. You could see some of the colors coming through <laughs> from my, uh, from my, um, oh God, what is it? You know, from my watercolor and spray and stuff. Let me move my hand so you could say, look at how cool that looks. So that is a clear stamp, Zoila. And, uh, Anne Marie, and I'm going to put Anne Marie's link below because she also did a video. And all I did was lay toilet paper in a square. Can you spare a square, please? 
And I just did them in squares, but I can really see me going to the dollar store and buying a four pack and just going to town uh, having a blast with this. Uh, I love this because I can use this in my mixed media. I can put the next thing I'm going to do, and I'll do it on camera, is take it through my big shot because I got to pull my big shot over here to finish up a few things. And um, I'll do that on camera too and show you how that does in an embossing folder. Um, unless you have the big shot in an embossing folder and want to do it you know, by all means do. Um, but yeah, that'll be, if I do that, that'll be coming up this, uh, today's what Thursday. Yeah. Friday or Saturday. I'll do it. I keep, I'm really mixed up on the days today. So I wonder if we can blow this dry. Let's see. I'm drying. I mean, I'm only at five minutes, so it's not like it's my normal hour video. But I, you know, I love doing, I love doing things start to finish. I can't help it. I love teaching and showing when I screw up. I'm almost at 4,000 uh, subs, which I'm so excited about. So when I get to 4,000 subs, there will be a big, big giveaway. So... That should come up soon, probably within the next month or so. And I will do a big, big giveaway. Most people like mixed media giveaways. So let me know below what kind of giveaway do you like? Do you like mixed media? Do you like jewelry? Do you like play? Do you like the scrap of paper? Let me know. Oh, the camera. Didn't realize I was so close. I guess when it starts smoking, you're supposed to move here. Move your heat gun or you use your hair dryer even. Your hair dryer would work just as good. Oh, it's drying. It's drying. I'm so excited. I know because it's white, it's going in and out of focus, so don't write me any comments because I get it. I wonder how I will know if that is... Let me move that over a little bit since I hit it. I'm afraid to touch it like to like accidentally push it down. I'm so excited. Ooh, lucky. Look at the texture. Oh my gosh. Oh, I could do this as a whole background. Come on now. So, Zoila, you can use it. You can use it. It's just a plain old plastic stamp. You don't have to use the wooden one. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. No, 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 no. I'm about to lose control and I think I love it. Now I'm thinking, oh, it's kind of blowing away there. I would blow the back a little bit because that's going to hold a little bit of the moisture, but. I want it, what I want to do. What do I want to do? What I really want to do. Right, let's pretend like we're dropping. Let's just pretend. Let me open up my new, me new ink pad. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to lightly, I know I'm very excited, and this isn't even dry all the way. I'm just going to lightly skim it. Oh my God, help me the love. Oh my gosh. I'm not pushing real hard because I probably, yeah, oh wow. I probably should have used a little bit more than the sheets of toilet paper I did, but see, because it's kind of tearing there a little bit. It needs to be dry a little bit more. <laughs> But I'm just loving this metal, so it can tear there. 
it can tear there. I can spare that square. This isn't metal. This is really cool. I love the color. Can you see all the texture? Look at that. And it's not all the way dry. If I would have left it all the way dry, we would see more. But there's a lot of texture in this thing. Look at that. Can you see? Look at the texture. Look, nice, love it. I'm gonna let that dry. I think I'll be doing a lot of these in the future. Very, very cool. So what, what I'm excited about with this is not only to use in mixed media background, which it makes great impressions and everything like that, but to use in my big shot with my, um, to try it in the big shot, but to also do cutouts in the big shot. And if you don't have a big shot, you know, you can use whatever to cut out. You can trace with your stencil or do whatever. But uh, even if you do circles, um, but you get these great, I mean, it's really picking up. I don't know how close I can get. That's probably too close. Can you see like all the dark areas where it's really picked up the, where it's, the stamp is, oh God, it's so good. And plus also my um, toilet paper is still wet. So of course when the water hits it, what's it gonna do? It's gonna spread, but I like that. I'm not, I'm not hating on it um, because I'll probably go in with another color once this completely dries, I'm so excited. So clear stamps do work, Zoila. Thank you, Anne Marie, for the uh, demo on this. Awesome. So excited to play. And I hope you guys have a great day. For those in the ATC swap, it is up on my website. Uh, it's in the group. And for the Twinchy uh, swap, the same. And I'm going to be finishing in, finishing in, um, finishing my doll box. And I got my doll, zombie doll. Not zombie doll. That was that's Annie's. I mean Angie's. Um, my zombie doll almost finished, sewed together. I need to just sew her, and then um, I will make her a doll. And I think that's all I had to say. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. But there you go. Very exciting. I hope you guys try it. All oh, this is some sheets of toilet paper and I sprayed it and I pushed a stamp in it and you can use wooden wood block stamps, plastic stamps, whatever you got and uh, make yourself something. You Even if you don't have stamps, like I have um, Punchinella or I have screening, you know, you can use whatever you have and just press it in, roll it, you know, roll it or whatever. Oh my gosh, how much fun is that? Okay. Be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, and you can join us in all things creative from me on Facebook. And I will get you in there. So I hope you all have a great day. And I may be back later with something else. I may not. I don't know. But uh, I thought this was really cool and I had to try it out. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.